What's going on guys, Ishin here from Digital Media. In the previous episode, you guys all saw me POR 15 the Dodge Ram. It's looking nice, but today I'm gonna finish up the job by spraying the bed liner on the outside of the truck. I got the Raptor liner. This is basically a two-part bed liner. In the past, I've used off-the-shelf uh, spray can type bed liner, but today, for the first time, I'm gonna do it properly. So what I'm gonna have to do is mix the hardener inside the resin, hook up the sprayer right on top, which came with the kit, which is super nice, and then just spray the truck. For the front, I'm gonna have to uh, sand all this down to the bare metal. I'm also going to sand down the bottom half of the bumper. I'm gonna cover the fog light, so obviously I don't wanna paint that but all of this bottom will be painted with the bed liner. So as for the side, I'm gonna be painting here and under. So this chrome piece has to come off. I'm not sure if this was like a part that previous owner added or if it was like a uh, factory option from FCA Chrysler. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on with this. But from just touching it, it feels like it's uh, installed with double-sided tape so i'm just gonna go ahead and remove that my truck is laramie edition so maybe it's got fancy trim kit like these but i don't need that i'm gonna take that off i'm gonna sand everything down from here and also i'm gonna be removing the uh over fenders front and back and inside of here i'm also going to take care of the rust because i know there was some rusting here so i'm gonna sand it down prep it uh degrease it metal edge it pr15 it and then paint over that. Back here is also going to be sanded and this is one of the major damages here. I haven't done POR15 yet, but this, as you can see, is some serious rust going on. So I'm gonna use degreaser, uh, metal etcher, and then apply POR15, make sure the rust is nice and secured. And I'm gonna do the same thing from the inside, so it's good inside and outside. And then the bumper here is also going to be sprayed with bed liners. I'm gonna take these rear lights off and the bottom of the hat. You can see here the rust starting, right? Let's get to work. Okay guys, here is day two of the job. Unfortunately, yesterday it started raining, so I couldn't get much done. But I was able to pressure wash off the adhesive that was left on the truck. And I went and started sanding down the areas that's going to be painted. Now I need to focus on the rusty spots. When I remove the rear fenders, this is the rust damage that the truck had. So I'm going to try to sand down as much as possible to the metal. I'm going to do PR15 degrees, PR15 metal etcher, and then PR15 over it. And as for the front, I'm going to sand this down to the metal, sand this down as much as I can and prep everything for paint. Alright guys, I just finished sanding the truck down, so let me show you what's going on. So the front end has been sanded down for the most of it. Over here though, I noticed a little crack. I guess I hit something in the winter time, so I'm gonna go ahead and fill this up with Bondo. I don't really care how smooth it is because the bed liner is gonna have a texture to it, bumpy texture to it, right? And uh, I guess the only issue is this part when i was sanding it down rust was so bad that it just ate right into the fender so uh, what i'm gonna do is pr15 this so the rust is sealed after metal etching it and then once the pr15 dries i'm gonna fiberglass over it like i did with the race car so that this is no longer an issue i'm probably gonna do the same thing with the hole down here uh which i guess it doesn't really matter because it's not functional right but i guess to prevent water and salt from coming up here i might want to lay a fiberglass here to make sure this is sealed up but this is what it looks like right now i'm gonna go ahead and etch it and lay down pr15 which is a process you're all familiar with at this point
All right, guys, it's like day four of this painting job. Uh, like any painting job out there, it's all about the preparation. The spring portion of painting is the easiest part. It's all in the preparation. Make sure you sign it down, clean it down, so that you get good adhesive. So let me show you what the truck looks like. Everything has been signed down. Um, the front part, I still need to sand it down a little bit, but I bundled it. It's nice and solid now in one piece. If you come across to the side, the PR15s that I put on under the chassis has all dried up, all good to go. And I even went and uh, painted the bottom of the doors too because it was starting to show some surface rust. Because what happens on dodges, I guess, is uh, water collects up in here in this sleeve and it starts to rust from there inside out. This I need to, I need to fiberglass, but I'm going to do that after uh, I paint the truck. Everything here has been PR15, as you can see, nice and solid. So what I'm going to do now is tape up the truck and then put this uh, protective sheet all around the truck to cover where I don't want to paint it. I actually last minute decided to just paint the plastic piece on top as well as the bumper all together so I took off the license plate light holder and the light itself so that I can just spray this whole rear end all together and the last step for me before I actually paint it with Raptor paint is I got this adhesion promoter from Upol which is actually the brand that sells Raptor liner so what this does is for areas that's kind of hard to sand you can spray so that it can stick better to paint so for example this area by the fog light I'm gonna spray with that adhesion promoter as well as these areas where um, I didn't want to risk sanding down because I wasn't sure how far this sander was gonna take me so I didn't want to scratch the area that I want to leave the paint so I'm just gonna spray this across the truck where I want to and then uh, let that dry real quick and one thing to know because I'm all about saving money here is that you probably don't have to use adhesion promoter by UPO you could probably use any spray adhesive adhesion promoter available the market I don't think it really matters uh, but because I'm spending so much time prepping the truck I wanted to get the right stuff and do it right but if you're doing like a trader or somewhere you don't really care about uh, I guess you could save a couple bucks and go with any brand adhesion promoter guys and now we're finally ready for paint so let me just show you I'm not a paint expert or anything but let me just show you uh, different paint guns so this is a uh, hover freight paint spray gun that I have uh, been using on the FD. This is the same spray gun I use to paint the engine bay and you can see how small the nozzle is, right? When you come over here, this is another spray gun I purchased on Amazon uh, when I did the blizzard skin for inside the FDR7 race car. You can see the diameter is literally like half an inch there for uh, heavier density stuff. Now I can use this to spray Raptor liner but my kit came with its own system, its own spray gun with similar diameter outlet. I have also attached my pressure regulator so you can adjust from 40 up to 130 psi depending on your needs. Uh, with spraying, I'm not again expert but temperature, humidity plays a huge role so like that's 40 psi right? But if I increase it to 130 psi you can see the difference in power there. So I'm gonna play with this as I spray it. Um, usually what I recommend is to get like a, like a cardboard, start spraying on there and see how it lays down. Because this is a truck, because it's a dead liner, I don't really care about testing it. I'm just gonna go shoot it and uh, see what happens. So here is the actual paint material. What you wanna do is open this guy up, open the hardener up and put the hardener up to this line on the paint and then you just put the top on and shake it up you're good to go wow i'm not sure you can see it but inside here is just gunk it looks like a uh, oil sludge it's not even liquid in here all 
All right, guys, and we're ready to go. I'm at 60 PSI. Let's see how this thing sprays. All right, guys, so that was my test pass at 60 PSI. I am already extremely happy with how it's coming out look at the texture that's exactly what i want exactly what i'm looking for it looks beautiful i'm just gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of the truck for the first coat After the first coat, look at that, that looks badass. Here's a close up of the texture I'm getting with this Raptor liner. It is super easy to spray, even if it's your first time ever playing with air spray, this would be super easy to play with. Coming to the back here, looks just as good. Front and back, I did two coats, and the sides, I did one coat. And to do that, front and back and sides, I use three cans, and I have one can left, and I decided to do the over fenders as well. It was about two years ago, I did the over fenders. Um, I used the off-the-shelf spray can undercoat, and it's peeling off. So what I'm gonna do is just hit it with the pressure washer, get the old paint off and go ahead and hit it with the Raptor paint also. Hey guys, the truck has dried up and it is now finished. So let me show you the final product here. So here's how the truck looks like after everything has dried up. My fender liners look so much better than the way it used to look. It actually looks OEM and finished. I also painted the silver bolts as well. So it looks nice and sleek. Uh, as for the sides, again, it looks OEM. It's so durable just by tapping on it. You can tell how strong these things are. Uh, it's not going to penetrate with rust anymore. It looks amazing. Coming to the back, here's what it looks like. I painted up to the bumper line here and then painted the bottom of the tailgate because the bottom, as you remember, were rusting over here. That's no longer an issue. I painted even inside the truck tailgate, like kind of into the bed itself. So that's been PR15 and then uh, painted with Raptor Rider. So everything looks good. Tow hitch has been PR15. Um, I put the reverse lights back on. This used to be silver, this used to be plastic, but now it looks like one big piece and it looks amazing. I also painted the connector piece. I was kind of skeptical before I painted it all together um, that it might not open, but no problems. It looks OEM, it looks durable, nice and cool looking finish. Overall, I am extremely happy with the result of the truck, how it came out. Raptor liner, like I said, was super easy to use, super easy to lay down. And because it was so easy to use and it was actually fun for me to paint, I'm actually considering painting the whole truck. So uh, I wanna do like a battleship gray for the whole body of the truck and keep the bottom part black. Uh, I'm still thinking about it. Let me know what you guys think about that, whether I should do it or not. Um, the problem, I guess, for me is finding a garage space that's big enough for me to put the truck inside because as you know, uh, I did this on the outside uh, in my driveway, which is not exactly recommended. It's a truck, it's a DD, so I didn't care much about you know uh, particles getting on the paint as it's drying, but I don't see any issue with the finish of the paint so i'm happy with everything how it turned out so let me know what you guys think should i paint the whole truck or not uh how do you like the raptor liner how do you like the pr15 job i did let me know your thoughts put it in the comment section below and i will see you in the next episode peace